guys, it's Hannah from Frog's Clay Creation and today I have a basic hair tutorial. So I'm just starting off by getting clay on the back of the head of a cheapy penny. And I just want to get it all on there on the sides and I'm going to smooth it out. I want to keep something in mind with my tutorials that they are very customizable which means no matter what color, what shape, what texture I use in my tutorials, you can change anything. If you want something to be a different color, go ahead with it. These are just a base for tutorials. Putting texture into the hair with just using my needle tool to create lines. After I'm done texturing, this is what it looks like. So after I've textured the back of the head, I'm going to start by making a bun, which is just a ball of clay that I lightly flatten between my fingers, and I add the same textured line. After I'm done with the bun, I just add it to the center of the back of the head where all the lines meet. And this is what it looks like. To make a short ponytail, I make a teardrop shape and I texture it with the same lines. make a longer ponytail, just make a longer, more stretched out teardrop shape and add the same texture. To make a braid, I take three snakes, all pointed on one end, and I just cross them back and forth like this, and I just add it to the back of the head and blend it. For straight hair, I just roll out clay and cut a long rectangle and wrap this around the back and the sides of the head. After that's done, it should look something like this. To make straight across bangs, I'm just taking a smaller rectangle and putting it in front of the face and adding the same texture. To make side parted or middle parted bangs, I take two teardrop shapes and flatten them and then just add them to the base. Here I'm making a mohawk and I'm just taking a rectangle, cutting off the corners and then cutting a little more off the top. Then I'm adding it to the back and the center of the head.
to make a curl for curly hair, just take a snake that points out on one end and kind of curl it with your fingers like this. I'm just adding them to the back of the head and I made bigger curls for the back and then as I got closer to the face I made smaller curls. I know this video was pretty long but it was really fun making all these different hairstyles. Find me on Etsy, Facebook, Tumblr, and Crafty Amino all under Dogs Play Creation. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.